So that brings us to our burning questions. Is Garibi Hatao a mere slogan for the Congress Party ahead of a crucial election? Is the Prime Minister mocking the Congress Party's minimum income push? Has Nyai's scheme rattled the BJP which has led the Prime Minister to hit out at the Congress Party? Is the Congress mega poll soft viable? 48-year-old slogan that has been repackaged by Rahul Gandhi is what the BJP says. I have with me Neha Joshi who is the spokesperson for the BJP, Mohamed Khan who is also the spokesperson of the Congress Party and Rajiv Dubey. Managing Editor of Business TV and Digital. Coming to you, Neha, why does the Prime Minister say that this is a con to hoodwink the people of India? Uh, why is he criticizing the Congress Party's minimum income guarantee scheme? Because it is nothing more than a jumla, and everybody has seen that. Uh, leading economists of the country have said that the scheme is not economically viable. The Congress doesn't have a plan. The fact that you know uh, uh, several su in, uh, subsidies will have to be wiped out in order to accommodate this scheme, uh, which is not clear to everybody. I think the way you explained it right now, it, uh, I think that's the best sort of brief that I have heard in a long time, and certainly none from the Congress spokesperson. Everybody is confused about what the details of the scheme are, and the fact of the matter is, you know, Rahul Gandhi is a very entitled politician. He gets to reinvent himself every few years, relaunch himself and come of age every few years. And, you know, again, this is being made by the Congress as coming of age of, the, of Rahul Gandhi and him bringing to the country the final assault on poverty. So, you know, stop okay. it with the jumlas. That is what the uh, Prime Minister has attacked and rightfully so. Mohammed Khan, how do you respond? The BJP saying that this is nothing but a repeat of old unkept promises. Uh, they the claim that the Nyai scheme is nothing but a ploy to hoodwink the people of India. How does the Congress uh, respond to all this criticism coming their way? Hmm. Yes, Avandika. Avandika, there is this saying, we assume of others what we know to be true of ourselves. The Prime Minister knows he is a jumleba. The Prime Minister knows he has no actual intention of delivering upon his promises. So he assumes other politicians are like him as well. Unfortunately for the Prime Minister, and it is appalling that he doesn't know this. Hmm. Last year in September of 2018, the Oxford University and the United Nations, two very eminent institutions, premier institutions, published a report on multidimensional multi poverty. This report said that in the years between 2004 and 2014, the 10-year UPA period, 271 million people were lifted out of absolute poverty, a number that is uncomparable with anywhere else in the world. They okay. called it an unprecedented success. It is a testament to the pro-poor policies of the UPA. This is something that these people who live off WhatsApp University will not understand. This was also a story published three days ago in the Indian Express. If Neha had bothered to read the newspaper instead of her WhatsApp forwards, perhaps she would have been better prepared for this debate. I'll just come and to you, course, Neha. Ki thodi. A Prime Minister it's himself sets the tone of ignorance with regard Let's to this. Let's talk numbers, now, Rajiv is, Dubey. We give priority right. to these schemes because we can. Okay, and that's what, that's what the Congress Where, Party the numbers, with full confidence the claims, the Rajiv. Did a one -hour debate. Chidambaram, in fact, saying that India has the capacity to ensure that the scheme uh, is implementable in the country. In fact, he says that even the former uh, RBI governor, Raghuram Rajan, is saying that the scheme is going to be very effective. It is possible. It will cost 1.8% of the GDP. It will be rolled out in phases. But your understanding of the Nyai scheme and, uh, you know, if it is executed, what good does it do to the country? You know, it's, it's, we've been consistently saying that the scheme, unless you are subsuming some of the existing schemes or increasing taxes substantially, this scheme is not possible. It's okay. just not possible under the current circumstances. Given our budget constraints, we, uh, this scheme is almost 120% uh, uh, of the existing subsidy burden that India is already bearing. So this scheme cannot be implemented. Now, all through this time, uh, you know, Congress Party spokespeople have initially started out saying that no other subsidy will be subsumed. Now, in the last few days, we are hearing that some subsidies will be subsumed. So it is a confused state of affairs right now. I don't think the Congress has a has yet figured out how this money is going to be uh, going to be uh, you know included but let me just give you one example of what uh, where we are right now if you account for what india is going to earn tomorrow one hmm. rupee of earning hmm. the government of india will do tomorrow hmm. more than three-fourths almost 80 percent of that is already decided in terms of spending 
today okay. so if congress thinks it has great leeway in terms of growth uh, of our of our tax uh, base you know if our tax base is growing 12 to 14% that is going to get something like 3 lakh crore every year no way it's only going to get something like 10 20000 crore to handle with and that's not going to be able to fund the scheme so congress has to really figure out what is going to be subsumed if at all if not what new taxes are going to be coming all right interesting i have to leave it uh, for now mohammad khan i know that you would want to respond to what rajiv dube had to say but i'm completely like running out of that, time okay a very quick response from you very quick Uh, Dubey sir, my colleague uh, uh, Praveen Chakravarti actually did a lengthy address on this on a colleague channel of yours. He spoke about harmonisation of subsidies. He talked about minor increases in taxes for the very rich. He spoke about the fact that the money exists, and he gave comparable examples in other parts of the world. I suggest you watch that because we will be putting out more information. Well, that's like precisely, precisely, what, that's, that's precisely, what, what, I, that's precisely what I. That's precisely what I said. That's precisely what I said. That the so kind of really leeway, the kind of leeway that Congress thinks it has, like. Like I said, almost 70 to 80 percent of what government of India will earn tomorrow yeah. is already accounted for in terms of where it's going to be spent. It's in terms of interest. Government of India yes. pays. It is, it is in terms of salaries. It is in terms of social schemes. It okay. is in terms of infrastructure. All right. So, so I'll watch this space very closely. We we'll have to wait for those details coming reality. in from the Congress Party on just yeah. how they plan to execute the Nyai scheme uh, with all that data that's available. I'm going to wrap it for now. Neha, Mohammad Khan, Rajiv Dubey, thank you all for joining us.